If you are looking on ways on how to work with Arabic text inside After Effects, you are in the right place. Hey, what's up guys? It's Louie once again and we're back at Totoys TV. Another video editing techniques I'm going to show you for video editors and animators like me who are working in Arab countries. Even though I can speak and read Arabic, I can understand shway shway, mafi, mushkila, and alhamdulillah. <laughs> it's really hard to work with Arabic text inside After Effects. Unlike Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, you can just, you know, directly copy or create an Arabic text and it will work just fine. But in After Effects, when you typed or pasted an Arabic text, it goes crazy. Most of my edited works and animations were in bilingual. I'm pretty sure you've seen this somewhere here in Sarja, UAE. If you know the flying saucer Sarja, you've probably seen this. It's posted in big LCD outside the building of the flying saucer. I didn't design the graphics here, but I'm the one who animated every single moving graphics that you can see here using Adobe After Effects. I'm not going to show you how I animated the graphics for now because we're going to talk about how I made the Arabic text work inside this After Effects project. There are many ways to do it, but I will show you the two methods I use. So for the first quick test, we are going to use this English text right here translated in Google because it has multiple lines and special characters. I will show you why I prefer the second method and not this first one, but you can still use it as an alternative way. The first method is to use the Arabic keyboard.org. You can type or paste an Arabic text right here, then click copy, then convert, and paste it in the text layer in After Effects. As you can see, I'm facing so many problems using this because if you have a text in multiple lines, the first line goes to the bottom when you paste it directly in After Effects. And some special characters doesn't work properly. To fix this issue, I use Adobe Illustrator in between the process of copying and pasting. So first, copy the Arabic text from your notepad or text editor, then paste it in arabickeyboard.org. Click copy, convert, then paste it directly in After Effects. You will see the same problem. The first line goes to the bottom, but don't delete it yet. Open your Adobe Illustrator, create a text box, copy the correct Arabic text from your notepad or text editor, then paste it on the text box in Adobe Illustrator. You'll see everything is properly oriented because Arabic text works fine in Adobe Illustrator. Now, copy the text from Illustrator, then paste it on the same text layer in After Effects. I don't know why you have to go through all these processes, but it's really weird and it's not really convenient for me to go back and forth between these applications. It's free, but it's a hassle to use. If you want to try this method, the link of the arabickeyboard.org is down below. The other way is to use Arabic text plugins. It's not free, but it's cheap and easy to use. I'll post the link below if you want to check it. First things first, you need to install the plugin on your current version of your After Effects. And here's how you can install it on your Mac. Close your After Effects application, go to Applications tab, find your latest After Effects folder and find the Scripts folder, then Script UI Panels and drop the Arabic text.jsx. Now you can open the After Effects application on your current project. I'll open mine, the Flying Saucer animation. So as you can see, I have a lot of layers here. You're probably wondering where's the plugins. You can activate the plugins in Windows menu on tab, then select Arabic text.jsx. What I like about this plugin is that you can snap it on the other panel. And I usually put it on the right side of my timeline. Here's how it works. There are three ways to use this. You can create new text, you can update a text, and you can convert a text. I'll explain the differences of the three. So when you use the create text, you can just type or paste an Arabic text on the white area and hit the apply button. 
it will automatically create a new text layer on your timeline and it will show on your compositions panel. Note, if you can see the text on your composition, you better check the font style. Some English font can display Arabic text. I usually use Albayan or, or other Arabic font in characters uh, panel. So every time you click the apply button with new text selected, it will create new text layer on your timeline, even if it's empty. Next is the update text. When you use this option, you have to select the text layer you want to update before you hit the apply button. You can type or paste an Arabic text in the white area. Click apply to update the text. This is the method I usually use. Every time I create a project, I do it in English version first, then I duplicate the layer and update it with Arabic text given by our translator. It's really easy and convenient to use. Last but not least, the convert text. When you select this option, you won't be able to use the white area to type or paste an Arabic text. This works on a text layer that has already an Arabic text with wrong orientation. So if you directly pasted an Arabic text inside After Effects and you notice that it's not on their correct orientation, select the text layer, then choose Convert Text and hit the Apply button. It will update to their correct orientation. Okay, thanks for watching the whole tutorials guys. I hope I contributed or helped you in any ways. Sa mga kabayan, please subscribe to our channel and connect with us at totoystv at gmail.com. Hit thumbs up if you like this video and if you don't, click this like. But be sure to activate the notification bell for you to be notified whenever we upload videos in this channel. Be creative all day, all night. See ya! Paste an Arabic text. Ah, ang sakit ng likod ko. Text, text.